Okay, editing Rob here. So a couple heads up before you jump into this video. First and foremost, you will notice that there is no in-game audio. And that's because I was watching Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse in the background. Uh, and that was all picked up on the recording software. It'll make more sense when you watch the rest of this video. But uh, that's just something you'll notice. You don't need the in-game audio anyway. Also, in addition to that, anything that I mentioned in this video will be listed down in the description box below just in case you need to refer back to it. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and send you off to pass Rob. This is just the icing on top of the weird cake that I have for you today. What's up my underappreciated little apricots? This is Rob from Gay Guy Plays and today on the Daily Grind, I've got a weird video for you. Now if I'm gonna be completely honest, I've been brainstorming a lot of odd Warframe themed videos. However, I didn't want to release them all at once because I didn't want you guys to think that I was absolutely crazy. I know that like Warframe content creation tends to be along the lines of here's a build video, here's a weapon review, here's a tutorial. And as much as I want to do that after like five or six years, years of playing the game, that kind of becomes a little bit boring. So every now and then you want to take a chance on something creative and that's today. Now the specific topic this time around is actually how I stay not burned out on Warframe. Um, and it's, I wouldn't say that it's an unconventional way of doing it, but to be completely honest with you, this is how I'm able to play consistently without wanting to bash my head against a table. And as you guys know, there's been an event that happened recently that everybody's been grinding out on. We have night waves that are there for us to do. And of course we have like vaulted relics that we all want to farm. So part of it is like, how do you keep your sanity throughout all of that. So I want to give you guys my top tip for not losing your mind during farming. And that is to also be doing something else. So I actually wanted to go ahead and give you guys a list of different streaming services as well as the like series or movies that are already available on them that you guys can check out while you're playing Warframe. I mean you could either watch it on a second screen and if you don't have a second screen we all have phones, right? So you can go ahead and stream it on your phone while you're actually playing Warframe. And that way, you know, the grind doesn't seem as boring. And I think that sometimes we just turn on the game and we play the game and it kind of like, how do you say this? Kind of narrows our perspective on what is going on with life. So at least this way, you can be doing one thing and accomplishing something in game, but also kind of immersing yourself in pop culture. So it's not like you're just limited to this one gaming space. So, with your permission, I guess it's not really your permission because I'm just gonna do it. We're gonna go ahead and go streaming service by streaming service and we're gonna go through some of my recommendations. Now, these are very light lists um, and let me know if there's any specific streaming service that you really want me to jump into um, more in depth after this video is done. So let's kick things off with YouTube. This is something like you have it, clearly you're watching this video right now, so I figured that we could all relate. Now, the one thing that I have been watching, like binging on on YouTube, is actually the Bon Appetit channel, and it's a very specific series on there called A Pastry Chef Attempts to Make Gourmet dot dot dot. Um, and let me tell you right now, it's just absolutely fascinating and kind of enthralling to watch a Bon Appetit, you know, like a big old fancy chef, right? Well, she's not like the fanciest. I love, I love Claire, but you know, she's of course in this setting where they're exposed to all of these, you know, high end things. And, uh, they have to attempt to make gourmet pop rocks, gourmet pop tarts, Twix, Doritos, peeps. So it's just really interesting to see all of the kind of gears turning in their head to figure out exactly how they're going to create these, I guess you would call lowbrow snacks and actually make them into something. And I know it sounds really stuffy. It's like, it's bon appetit, but actually it's pretty down to earth and it's pretty hilarious. There are some amazing moments where you can just tell this girl is about to lose her mind trying to figure out how to make the perfect Dorito seasoning flavor mix. It is so good. So you guys have YouTube. If you are not watching that right now, maybe maybe you could, uh, you know, be uh, putting my playlists on stream. But if you're not doing that, go ahead and watch this one on Bon Appetit. It's really good. Now, staying consistent with that food theme, we're going to jump to Netflix. Now, Netflix is, of course, this massive streaming service. So there's a ton of things to watch on there. Um, however, 
one of the things I'm going to recommend to you right now is the Great British Baking Show. And the reason that I want to go ahead and put this out to you guys is because there are six seasons. There are six seasons of this show, and I'm pretty sure that there's like 20 episodes on each season. Something along those lines. But legitimately, that's a lot of farming you can do, and in the background you have all of these... Well, not all of them are pleasant British people. Like, there's a lot of really pleasant ones, and it just feels really, like, wholesome and very nice. As you know, you're mowing down hordes and hordes of Grenier trying to get your hands on a little bit of Kuva, right? Because we got a lot of Kuva farming to be done if we need to get our ribbons rolled, right? So, for me, The Great British Baking Show is really, really nice, especially in paired with some of the other series that I'm going to share with you guys. So, six seasons, it's all fantastic, and I mean, it's really down to earth at the same time because you see them go through all of these challenges and they're all like home bakers, but they're, I guess they're really good home bakers. Um, and literally what ends up happening is you look at some of the challenges they do and like, bitch, you're supposed to be really good at this. Why is everything falling apart? I do not understand. So it's always just fun to have that going in the background. And the cool thing about that is mainly because of the fact that you're farming, you're not always paying 100% attention to what's going on on your second stream or your phone. <coughs> so it's kind of like one of those light shows to watch when you might need to pay attention to what's going on in the other screen. Um, the other thing that I want to recommend as well that also stays in the comedy zone but is a little bit of a dramedy, um, it's also Lucifer. If you guys have not checked it out, Basically, the devil wants to stop being the devil, and instead he runs a nightclub and falls in love with a detective and is like, well, listen, I want this detective, so uh, I'm going to try to woo her. But his devil magic doesn't work on her, and uh, he's going to try to do it the old-fashioned way. It's a really, really great series. Um, I believe that there are four seasons on right now. Um, and when you hear the name Lucifer as like a TV series title, I, no, it's not a TV series, it's like a Netflix series title, um, it's not as serious as you would think it is. So definitely check that one out. Um, moving along, we're going to stop over to HBO now uh, because plenty of us, I'm sure, have been subscribed since the Game of Thrones days. Uh, now, if you have not watched Game of Thrones on HBO now, I will recommend that you definitely go through it. There's a bunch of seasons. It gets a little crazy at the end. There's some people who have very, very strong feelings about how the show finished off. But one of the things that I will say about Game of Thrones is that first season is a pain to get through. It is really a slog, at least in my opinion. So what's great about it is you can have it streaming on the background while you are going through and like trying to farm up some of these Rhino Prime relics, right? So you got your Rhino Prime relics going on. Maybe you could be testing a build while you're farming them. Then you've got a little bit of Game of Thrones season one going through on your second monitor or your phone because everybody has a phone right uh, so that way you can go ahead and get through that very first season and trust me after you finish that first season that's when shit gets interesting so let Warframe help you get through season one of Game of Thrones then after that it'll be smooth sailing um, next up that's on HBO and this is actually the series that really drove me uh, to make this video it's called Euphoria now it's a teenage drama but it has a lot of serious tones to it there's a lot of drugs there's a lot of sex there's a lot of um like gender identity things going on it's very it's a very intense and heavy show and when i say heavy like literally the day that i finished that show i was just in a depressed state i just wanted to lay around all day because it is so freaking intense but for those of you who are of that specific kind of, I guess, what do I say? Uh, that specific kind of inclination. There are a lot of dicks on the show. There are boobs too, but I mean, there are a lot of dicks on the show. So I'm just saying in case you want to check up on that, definitely watch Euphoria. Um, but I will say that when you finish Euphoria, 
Watch the Great British Baking Show afterwards. Lift your spirits. You're going to need it. That's the order that I want you to watch it. Euphoria, then Great British Baking Show. Just to bring you back up from the depths of depression. Uh, now, the one thing that I do need to point out on uh, HBO, if you've already watched Game of Thrones and you've already finished Euphoria, uh, maybe you can help me watch Westworld Season 2 uh, and help me finish that as well. We could watch it together. I'm just putting that out there. Uh, Westworld is absolutely fantastic. It's about the world of of a Western AI, uh, and uh, oh, I don't want to give away too much because I feel like there's any, basically, they're in cowboy world, and they're all AI robots, and all of these rich people pay to get into the park, and they can do whatever they want there. And when I say whatever they want, they can have a little cowboy adventure off in the plains, or they can have a little cowboy adventure in the sheep. Just say it. Very interesting show, but I still do need to get through season two. Um, now, we're going to go ahead and finish this off with Amazon Prime. Now, if you guys follow me on Twitch, you might have an Amazon Prime membership because you can get Twitch Prime and all of that hullabaloo. So if you do have that, of course, the number one thing I'm going to recommend off of Amazon Prime is The Boys. Now, if you are into superhero um, movies and all of that kind of stuff, especially if you're a big comic geek, The Boys is also a very dark... I, I'm very dark. I'm either very dark or very comedy. Maybe that's just kind of like the world that I fit in. Um, but The Boys is absolutely fantastic. It kind of... Um, I guess the synopsis that I would give you is... What if Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, uh, and The Flash, they, what if they were all owned by corporate companies and um, they had to portray certain, I guess you would say, certain, part, certain aspects of their nature to uh, ensure that they are getting the most sponsorships? To, get, to make sure that they are getting the most brand deals, selling the most tickets to their movies, um, all of that kind of stuff. You have to think of them as their products that are almost like manufactured. That's a little foreshadowing there for you. Um, but legitimately, The Boys is absolutely fantastic because it kind of takes the side of the anti-hero looking up at these corporate created um, like superhero people. It's really dark, pair for a lot of gore, there's a butt bomb, just putting that out there. Uh, so if you guys want to go ahead and check that out and you do have Amazon Prime, definitely do that. The other thing that I'm going to be checking out during my farming uh, time is uh, Good Omens. I heard it was really, really good. I have not gotten to watch it yet. If you are a Whovian just like I am, it does feature David Tennant. So uh, that already gets me nice and moist. Uh, but basically what it boils down to, at least the synopsis that I've read, is that Agents of Heaven and Hell are trying to raise the Antichrist to not be absolute shit. So I want to see how that all goes down. That's what I've heard. Everybody who's talked about Good Omens has given it a big thumbs up. So I'm excited to go ahead and stream that. Um, let me know if there are any other shows that you think that I should go ahead and check out. Actually share that down in the comments below and maybe I'll go ahead and check some out. And the next time that we do something weird like this, it's not going to be a normal thing, just letting you know. But the next time we do something like this, hopefully I'll have a new uh, slew of shows to kind of give you guys. Or maybe next time we'll do a more focused deep dive um, into Netflix or HBO Now or any of the other specific streaming services. I just thought that this was a good way to kind of like keep you guys going. Keep your tanks fueled while you're out and farming because I do know that sometimes it can be a little brain melting. So if you've got a little brain stimulation on like a different screen, if you've got something interesting going on, that kind of helps you um, just get through all of the shit that you need to get through, right? Uh, so hopefully that was helpful in a very, very different way than normal. Um, so as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I'll uh, check out more streaming services soon. And also, Titans, okay? Titans on the DC streaming platform, it's not as bad as people say it is. I mean, it's still, like, it's still a little bad, but it's like, it's like the kind of bad that I'm okay with. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye